wondering why the view is different like because i'm currently sat on the floor next to my makeup drawers today is part two is i've been doing just basically showing off my makeup collection having a little reorganize what products i love what ones i don't what ones i want to try more of this year ones i might just get rid of in a few months if you want to see my makeup collection how i organize it and store everything now that it's grown then please stay tuned so the next part of my makeup collection that i need to organize is my lip containers i arrange them to have the ones i don't normally use closest to me and the ones i use all the time further away from me just so when i film when i use my makeup using colors that i wouldn't use as much normally and formulas and just try new things so let's take them out we can put them back in don't use them. so i'm just going to go through each one and the ones i use quite often are going to come in this container the ones i want to use more i'm going to put in this container so let's just randomly let's just randomly go in let's do these um obsessed ones i tried these once i can't remember if i actually tried them on video i can't remember but i tried them on the obsessed i got them from marks and spencers i've got the shade barely there and nearly nude and they were really thin and i wasn't quite comfortable with how they looked but i only tried them the once and i haven't tried them since that is a stunning color i'm gonna pop those in there so this one is the mac retro matte liquid lip color this is the shade fashion legacy oh i got this last year in cardiff and oh my gosh it is like a dream i love this color and i really want to get some more use out of it i don't use it enough i don't know why so i'm gonna put it slap bang in the front there because that is gonna be close to me my maybelline lipstick collection i have i have nine i have nine i also have a problem maybelline lipsticks they're amazing um i'm gonna put these further away from me i don't get me wrong i still will get use out of them i still will use them that's just what's going to happen like the perfect you know like the mauve for me pink for me these are shades that just work well for me and my makeup looks i will still use them but i want to put them further away from me so that i don't use them as much so my babies this is painful but i'm gonna put them oh gosh i'm gonna put them all in like this little row over here so they're not slap bang next to me. I reach over and I grab a Maybelline. I'm going to be better and I'm going to try and use products that I don't normally use instead. So starting with, well not starting with, continuing with. Oh no, it's cracked. This lipstick's going to have to go in the bin. This is the MUA Satin Lipstick in the shade Love Letter. This is the MUA Matte Lipstick in the shade Sincere. And it's this beautiful brown colour and I love this lipstick. And it's one of the few browns that I actually wanted to try and it actually suits me kind of so i feel like that would work with a range of looks because it's fairly neutral so i want to put that in the front because i want to get some more use out of it because i just don't wear brown often enough next to it i'm going to put the uh gerald cosmetics metal matte in the shade double shot that i tried today because i feel like layering the two would look really nice so i'm just going to pop that there so i have two malar lipsticks i have 14 iron bold and 78 Del matte delicate i love these two shades this one i have used so much it's like gorgeous dusky pink um i'm gonna put that up further like literally in the furthest one away from me because it's like my one of my most commonly used and 14 i am bold in their bold matte range this one i've also got a lot of use out of but i want to put that one again further away from me one that i do want to bring closer because it is lovely i used to wear it all the time lip paint lacquer by l'oreal paris this one here this color is amazing i love this color it's like a pinky nude it's like my perfect lip shade i love to wear um let me just give it a sniff test still smells lovely so i definitely want to get some more use out of this so i'm going to bring this one i'm going to pop it back there along with my tarte h2o gloss all the time it is quite thick that's the only thing it is quite thick but it can look stunning on the lips so i feel like for like the springtime i want to get some more use out of it another set of lipsticks i wear all the time are my tart ones and that is just because the formula is amazing you know what i'm gonna leave my tarts i'm gonna leave them at the front because i love them and i was thinking i use them all the time but actually i haven't used them for ages so why not speaking of tart they're glosses i have two here from a set and i also have the busy gal gloss this gloss is a mini. Honestly, I think I've probably nearly finished it. It's tiny. So I think I'm going to also leave that one at the front to try and finish up. But these two 
and newer to my collection. It's in the shade Candy Apple and Creme Brulee. They're basically my two favourite glosses. So I need to move them away from me, so I try and use some other ones instead. Get me wrong, like I keep, I don't know why I keep reinforcing it, because I feel like I'm like, they can hear me. <laughs> and I'm like, upsetting my lipsticks. No, you're still gonna get used, mummy still loves you, mummy just needs to show some love to these as well. Okay, this lip coat is a staple, but it used to be clear. Now it's not, um, you can tell what colour lipstick I used to wear all the time. Um, that's gonna go in the bin because it's gone off. Another lipstick I wear a lot, um, this is the KVD, back when it was Kat Von D, that's how long I've had it, but it's KVD lipstick in the shade Hexagram. I don't know if they still make this shade or not, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna try and see if I can finish this one up as well, simply because I don't even know if it's still available. So I just wanna use it up. And I, if, I, if it's still available, then I'll use it in videos. If not, then I'll choose it in my personal life and we'll try and finish it up because I used to wear it every day. So I really wanna get some use out of it. Another two glosses that I've literally been using so much are the Victoria's Secret glosses. Um, I have Caramel Kiss, Sugar High and Punchy. I've been using Caramel Kiss a lot. So I'm just gonna move that so it's a bit further away so I don't automatically grab that one. I'm gonna keep Punchy towards the front. Sugar High, I'm gonna move with Caramel Kiss. This Yves Saint Laurent Red, I don't use this very much, but I don't really wear, I've got quite a few reds that like I need to like play with. So I think I'm just gonna leave this one at the front just because it's an Yves Saint Laurent lipstick and I want it at the front. Um, that's allowed to be justified, isn't it? Another gloss that I love, that I use a lot is the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I love it. Again, I'm just gonna pop it with my Maybelline at the back. These are the Makeup Obsession, the lip glosses by someone, their collection, I'm not sure who it is. It was Belle something, I think. I've got Ever After, Wishes and Ditsy. And honestly, they're lovely. I really want to play with them some more. And then just where they were, I put them, play with them, put them away, and they were like really far in the corner of my makeup desk. So I want to have them all front and center because I feel like they're really good, like everyday shades. And we've got a lot of pinks and reds, so let's bring in some nudes as well. This gloss I use all the time. <laughs> all the time. Um, I also have another one in the pinky shade, but I don't know where that's gone. I think it's in a handbag somewhere but either way I'm going to move it back because I use it all the time and I need to use some of my other glasses first so let's do that. Another one that I I don't use very often but I should is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte. This one here it's in the shade Shiro. I used to use it a lot but the past couple of months I have barely used it and it is such a lovely nude shade. It's that one there so I think I'm going to leave this sort of front and centre just to continue getting some good use out of it. Move the Yves Saint Laurent one because I'm not going to wear that one as often, let's be honest. Um, another one that I do love, I just, I have a lot of reds, so I think I'm just going to move sort of further to the back, is the Max Factor Lip Finity Velvet Matte. It is absolutely lovely. I think I do really want to get back into wearing like a red lip. Um, so I think I do want to leave that one sort of further towards the back, but I need some more nudes in here. This is a pixie lipstick by Luna by Luna. This is like a ready pinky nudie shade. I have worn this a few times. It's lovely. It's that one there. And I don't know why I don't wear it more often. You can see I have got some good use out of it. I should wear it more often. So I'm going to bring that one and pop it there. Actually, I'm going to turn it up. It's such a lovely formula as well. I love it. One that I need to get back into wearing as well. I stopped wearing it because you do have to wear like a lip coat on top. But I don't know. I'm a bit more experienced with makeup. Maybe I'll just make it work. This is the Kylie lipstick in the shade Pomegranate. I use this in my red tutorial. I'm on a classic look and it is stunning. And I don't know why I've not been wearing it. So that's going to go there. Another lipstick that I definitely need to wear more is my Fenty one. Again, I just haven't been wearing these colours. I've kind of just gone for like a Maybelline nude. Unless I'm filming a video, I'm more varied when I'm filming a video, but it's in my day to day life. I just kind of go for a nude or a gloss at the moment just because we're wearing masks and things. Um, but possibly restrictions might be being lifted. I'm not sure. So maybe I'll be able to wear one. I don't know. This is a blue. Let's be honest, I'm not going to wear a blue very often. So that can go in the back um it's just it's not a color that i'm gonna wear so i can just go sit comfy over there and then i have one more spot here in my little section and i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move these up here just a bit more organized by height i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my brat slip gloss 
in here because I don't really wear it a lot because it's Bratz. It's the Sasha one and I'm a huge Bratz fan and I don't want to like use it all and run out. But let's be honest, it's going to take me years to actually use it and finish it. I can still have it in my collection for a while. It's fine. And if I don't finish it, that's fine. But it's this lovely colour. It's really minty and it does feel plumping. I don't know if it actually does, but it feels quite plumping. It's that shade there. It's lovely and it's more brownie nude. So I'm going to keep that right there. And this soda one. This I'm not sure about the formula. I honestly don't know. I need to have a play with it. It's not a colour that I wear very often because it is very bright and it was quite thin. So I am going to leave that where it was sort of in the back over here um just because i don't know if i'm going to use it um this is the ooh la la disney aristocats lip gloss um i bought this because it's marie again kind of for the brass one i have not been using it because i don't want to because it's like disney and whatever but like what is the point in buying it if i'm not going to use it at all let's be honest it smells super artificial probably would only last five minutes it's a bit shiny you know what i'm just gonna leave that in the packaging it kind of feels like kids makeup so you know what i will just leave that in the box <laughs> i was thinking i could get out and use it but no that's gonna think it's stay in the box i feel like that's looking a lot better in terms of like what i don't really use and what i need to use so i'm just gonna pop this back and then i think we've got time for one more draw okay guys so i feel like these are the drawers i'm gonna be able to like make the most like in, of an impact on um this is my blusher and highlighter drawer this is what i've been using um as my bronzer drawer just for the past couple of weeks what i do do have is some of these dividers so we're gonna put those in here separate my products out a bit more so let's just take everything out and then we can go through everything and we can put it back in do is the blushes i use all the time i'm going to put towards the back on this side I find that there are some that i just do not use like i know some blushes i just have not been using so i'm going to move them towards the front if i use them a lot this year i'll keep them if not then i'll declutter or just decide just to give them another go or whichever highlighters ones that i use a lot at the back ones i want to use more at the front because my highlighters i feel like i do use the same ones over and over and i as much as i have ones i love and i will always use a lot there are some that i just i never use and they are good it's just because they're at the back so i don't reach for them which is silly so yeah let's go ahead and just start putting stuff back in are my MUA highlighters i have used these a lot over the years this one is is just bizarre it's sh the sh MUA shimmer silk i did the first impressions on this it's actually my most popular video here on youtube it's like a balm it's actually looking a lot better than it did when i tested it and you like rub the bottom oh it's actually working hold on and it comes off on the skin okay well, when you actually go in with a brush it does not work but it's actually showing up a year later on my hand okay so i never use it because it was rubbish so i don't know i thought if i bring it towards the front maybe i'll use it a bit more and we can try it out and maybe i'll do a video on it i don't know that might be quite funny um this one is the shimmer powder shimmer highlight powder in the shade pedestrian sheen i use this one a lot so she needs to like dump the back she's also, please. She's also getting a bit old um one of the ones i don't use as much i don't use these two shades the shimmer highlight powder and iridescent gold and peach diamond i don't use them as much i sometimes use them in videos but other than that i just don't really use them so i'm going to bring those forward and try and use those shades um as well as this new one i tried today this master holographic by maybelline it was actually really pretty so i didn't actually show you that then sorry there you go i tried to wipe the lipstick off from my first bit but it hasn't come off um so i definitely want to get some set of that literally because i just i haven't tried it yet these a lot is my doll beauty like a diamond highlighter it's my favorite highlighter i've used it to death i also have the palette which i'll show you in a sec um but yeah again that's one i use a lot so she can go towards the back and fall over this one i use all the time this is the i heart revolution rose gold glow i use this all the time like all the time it's my go-to i grab it i've used it to death you can tell it is just so stunning sorry you're a weird angle um i use it all the time but this is this is basically why i'm filming this set of videos because i realize every time i go into my makeup i use this highlighter like even when i'm filming sometimes i generally grab it so it got me thinking like i need to use some of my other highlighters 
you know? <laughs> and I test everything compared to this one. This one I used once and I felt really bad because my boyfriend bought it for me. It's the W7 Killer Glow Highlight Shimmer Strobe. We both saw it in the shop and thought it looked really pretty. But then when you just get down to it, it's just like a powder. But I tried it and I wasn't a fan. But I haven't tried used it since because I've just been too afraid that it just won't really do anything. But it, I don't know, in the light it's kind of looking like it might do something. I don't know, I kind of want to play with it and see if I can make it work. I also want to try and get more use out of this shit is my liquid highlighters. Because I've had this one for ages, this Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter. Oh, pretty. And I just don't use it. And I always, I've been moved to the front before and like tried to use it. I just never use it but it's so pretty like look at that it's so pretty and it works on top of powders and like underneath as well just on like creams and bare skin it's so pretty so this is going right there because i need to use it and then this my mum gave me this ages ago this is the tarte press of the sea radiance drops these i honestly i think i've used maybe once and they were pretty but I just, I just haven't, I haven't used my liquid stuff. So, I mean, look at that. That's really shimmery. It looks a bit more like an oil. But I feel like that could look really nice on the body even. It kind of goes into, I don't know. But I feel like I want to have a play with it. I never do. I always look at it and go, yeah, and just grab for one of these. And another one I want to play with because it's getting a bit old now. But I love it. It's the Essence Moonlighter Cushion. And this is the Hybrid Sharing Tip. I have no idea. It's this, it's basically, it's a cushion highlighter and it's very pretty. It's very delicate. Hold on, I'm covered in highlighter so you can't tell one from the other. But like, you press into it and it's like shimmery and it is very pretty. It's more of a like delicate highlighter, which is why I don't wear it very often. But it's the one thing I actually use with the sponge that it came with because it works really well. Um, it's lovely. So actually what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna move this one back and just pop that one there and this is the Technic Get Gorgeous I have used this a few times it's okay I used it in a recent video and it was very natural um I don't know but I'm gonna try it again try and build it up if it doesn't work like I said if I don't use it I can't make it work this year then it looks like it would be amazing if I can't make it work then I'm just I'll decluster it at the end of the year but for now I'll keep it I'll give it a go and then not no, it's not the last one i thought it was this is the wet and wild one this is wonderful i love it and i want to play with it some more one i have actually used a decent amount I finally like got down into the actual highlighter rather than just i don't know the top that was a bit dry or something i don't know and it actually works really well and then this one is the revolution it's the loose highlighter in ice diamond it's beautiful i haven't had it very long but i i've used it a couple of times and it's stunning but i really want to get some more use out of it just because it's loose and i feel like i haven't played with it a lot because it is loose but you know that shouldn't be a negative for it you definitely want to get some more use out of this this is the lumos by la splash cosmetics i've been using it recently with palettes i find i just don't use my palettes as much as i should um but it's beautiful and i, I have got a decent amount of use out of it but i definitely want to use some more especially this with like blush draping I recently discovered works really well um so i'm gonna put that in here so i don't know why i don't use this one as much i did a doll beauty doll highlighter palette and i got it on sale but i would have paid full price anyway i adore the highlighters and like a diamond is one of my favorite shades and that one is like a diamond love them all and as you can see i have got a good amount of use out of them that i'm gonna move up here as well i'm just gonna put this behind there i feel like that looks a lot better i like that one there because it's like shiny fab okay let's move on to blush while we're on palettes let's just do palettes this is my baby i love this uh, i use it a lot and i always will use it a lot i don't re it's one of the palettes that i do reach for because i just I, I lusted after this palette for so long and then i finally got it bought it for myself for my birthday and it's my baby it'll go in there in a minute the zoe the soft sun it was the first blush i ever tried ever bought and it's beautiful and it's a perfect just like go-to blush it's stunning and i love it but i always use it so i'm gonna put it right at the back i probably will still use it but let's try and try and do something different one that i know i don't use very often is the cougar by paula dunn loose blush it's beautiful and i actually used it in a recent video and it's stunning and i don't know why i don't know why i don't use it more often it's lovely so i want to put that right at the front because i do really want to use it along with my two benefit blushes because i don't use them very often because they're small they sort of disappear but yeah i don't really use them as much as i should and they're sort of staples for a reason so 
we're going to pop those there. And then the ones that I really want to get more use out of are my liquid blushes and my cream sticks. I used... I went through a phase where I used my Iconic London one loads. It's actually been lying on its side, so you can't see it like that. I used it loads, and I love it, but I've sort of stopped using it since, so I always use that one. But the ones I really want to get some use out of, this new one I tried, the Barry M Fresh Face in the shade Summer Rose. This is stunning. So I really want to get some use out of that because I can build that up. The Kiss and Smink, I feel like I love it. It's not that shade at all. It's actually more of a pinky shade. It's amazing if I just pop some. I'm going to have to do it up there there it's so pretty but i do feel like i get a decent amount of use out of that one so i'm just gonna pop that there but one i never use and i don't know why because it's lovely beauty crop palm balm and it's a cheek and lip balm and the color is amazing it's like thick it is it's like a balm but it really works and it really looks nice and i really you know i do want to get some use out of it especially in the summer i just pop some of that on without any foundation or whatever i look lovely so i definitely want to get some more use out of that so i'm going to put that one there just because i need, I need to use it i don't know why i don't use it i always look at it and go oh i want to use that and then i just think yeah i have to get a sponge out and all that but no i'm going to make myself get a sponge out use it <laughs> one i used to use all the time but i haven't been using as much is the milani blush everyone that knows milani um this is the rosa romantica shade it's a beautiful it's lovely but i use it a lot so we can go at the back and then along with the bh cosmetics floral blush i think bh cosmetics have like gone bust so sad they filed for bankruptcy i'd honestly heartbreaking this one they're so good it's such a shame um honolulu hideaway is the shade and oh my god it's Stunning. I love it. But I use it a lot. So again, I'm going to go towards the back. My Beauty Bay Blossom one I do use quite often. Um, but it's so pretty. Um, the, I feel like some, some of these blushes I use sort of the same amount so that they can just sort of go back. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, blushed in the... I am all over the place. I am sorry, guys. My stand just broke, so I've had to change the angle. So I hope you don't mind this angle. I can kind of see. Um, but yeah, we're still doing blushes. So um, this is the MUA Blushed and it's in the shade Ginger, and it's amazing. It's such a pretty blush duo. I sort of just swirl them together, and it's really pinky and lovely, and I do not get enough use out of it. So I'm gonna pop that one towards the front, um, as well as this Love by, um, by Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink one. It was limited edition last year, Valentine's Day, the packaging. I believe the shade is still was still available. Um, but either way, in my, my personal life and stuff, I really get some use out of it, because I love a glowy blush. It's kind of similar to the Zoeva one. So I definitely wanna like keep that towards the front. My Beauty Crop Orion Glow Blush Duo. I use this quite a lot because it's beautiful um, and I always will use it regularly because it is just stunning. Kind of reminds me of the Beauty Bay one. This Lottie London one is uh, fairly new to my collection. I recently just tried it and it's very pretty. So I definitely want to get some more use. This is the shade Haze. It's very, very pigmented. If you want to see my review, I actually tested out my Makeup Revolution testing video because I didn't buy a blush um but it's similar price range and it's stunning so that's really pretty and um, my tart one i use this one fairly regularly it's in the shade quirky it's like a neutrally kind of blush um i didn't think i'd get as much use out of it as i do but i do use it you only need a small amount hence the pattern is still very much there but i i do find i use that one quite a bit and then the last one is this chocolate cherry truffle full blush full color blush palette it's this one here it does have like some bronzy blushy shades in it as well um i don't really don't get much use out of this at all i don't know why it's stunning i was always afraid because they're quite bright the colors maybe it was perhaps um for a deeper skin tone than myself i'm not quite sure but either way i can make them work so i definitely should use this as a bronzer more and i should use these blushes um but yeah i definitely want to have those sort of present with my collection i'm just gonna have them probably standing facing me um along with my glowing and grease palette. So let me just quickly reorganize. I actually just found I actually have two more. This one is this, it's a so pretty. Um, it's the Disney Aristocrats collection with I Heart Revolution in the shade Beloved. It's this one here. I keep it in the packaging. Um, it's a pretty highlighter. It's not the best highlighter in the world, but I'm just going to be honest. I bought it because it's 
part of the collection like keep it in its box so that can just stay the one is i never don't know if this is like a highlighter for me or a blush shade i'm not sure or both it's georgina by benefit and it's lovely and glowy but i kind of feel like i might get away with it as a highlighter i don't know I don't know. I need to try it, but either way, I'll pop it with my blushes. So I feel like on top of a blush, that would actually look quite pretty. I don't think I've ever used it. Again, terrible. This is the finished draw. I think it looks so much better than it did. Um, my bronzers, I think, honestly, I think the thing to do is just keep my bronzers the way they are. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just how I use them they're just in here because I, I don't have masses of bronzers eventually I'm sure some of these products will move down into back here or some can maybe nails or something at the moment I've just got some like body lotion and stuff um but for now it's just got my bronzers they're in the bottom they sit here they look fine they work fine so you know um that's just that's just where they go so yeah um if you did enjoy today's video please go ahead like subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when the next upload but for now take care of yourselves my little stars maybe go and have a cheeky organize um and i will see you again soon bye